but fruit of the Spirit. As believers, we meditate about God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Thus abiding in Christ, our true vine. That comes from John 15. He said, I am a vine. That's, that's where the connection needs to be at. You need to be connected to the vine. Amen. They're not, not man. Amen. You can. I wish I had my connectors. Mm. So what connectors do is they might be walking right at the beginning but if they're going on through their journey some along the way can't say I You know, God gave me 
still by my little makeup and stuff, but my daughter, she had been pretty long, and I thank God for it. But God told me this morning when I got it, he said, uh-uh, don't put nothing on. Mm. This is when you know, mm. I think, you need that first relationship with God so you can be able to hear his voice when he speaks to you. God said, no makeup, no nothing. He said, I want you to go just like you are and show my people, tell them, I want them to be who I call them to be, not who man want them to be. Amen. You be who you are. Amen. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be who I am in Christ. So he said, be who you are today. Don't let man try to mold you and make you and shape you into what they want you to. When I say man, I mean man's child. Because people try to make you be who you, who they want you to be. But you be who God has called you to be. Get a relationship with God. Hear God's voice. Now the devil speaks to you too. He got a voice too. Oh yeah, he got a voice. You better be able to know the difference these days in time too. Because he, he out there and he waiting to kill, kill, and destroy you. Mm -hmm. But God said he come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So you got to know the difference in the world. Oh, I get it. I get it. No. <laughs> Living like him and exercise our faith in action as Jesus did. That is why Paul described the fruit of the Spirit as growing up in a proportion. In a proportion as we walk in the spirit rather than in the flesh. Simply put, if you want to please God, then your life so as to please Him and not yourself. If you want to please God, you got to live that lifestyle so you can please God and not yourself. You know what you please in yourself? You know whether you're doing things that is of God or not. Because you know what? If you got the Holy Ghost, He's going to check. He's going to tell you. You know you don't need to do that today. Why do you want to do that for? What you going to take that for and it don't even belong to you? Children even have sense to know when to do right. Now, come and think about it. Friday at job. I my husband said I, I, I work with uh, children. The classroom that I have, the children are like four or five years old. Now I'm gonna show you how God is working in children's life. The little girl walked in and she the children were on the carpet. And they were sitting down there and they were just, you know, just being children. That's why he was saying that the children be children. Because they're going to be children. They all going to be children. The children were sitting on the carpet. They were going on, going on like this. And the little girl said, The devil real. I was standing on that. She said, Did y'all hear what I said? She said, The devil real. One little girl go to church. This is her response. To the little girl. No, he's not. No, he ain't real. Why you say he's real? They were going back and forth at it. Back and forth at it. I didn't see anything because that's where you have to let children work things out for themselves. But at the very end, that little girl sat to the table at lunchtime and she said, I know he's real. I just want to see if you knew. She knew he was real. Because she know he in their house. See, children, the tell what's going on in their house, too. I'm telling you, when you work with children, I had to tell them sometimes, uh-uh, keep that. Miss Brenda don't want to do that. But the devil is real. He come to kill, still in the store. But me being in the position I am, I couldn't tell them that because of their laws. Their laws. We show our faithfulness by obeying him. His heart becomes our heart. His mind becomes our mind. His will becomes our will. One cannot be faithful to God if they do what they please. Did y'all hear that? 
One K. 